Hey guys, how are you going today? Today we're going to talk about security in your MetaMask. As you know, this DeFi season has been absolutely nuts. And if you're anything like me, and you've been aping into projects left, right and center, at the end of the day, this could possibly leave your MetaMask in some security risks. So, today I want to share with you how I reduce those risks in my MetaMask from the possibility of losing funds. So, you should check the sites that your MetaMask is actually connected to, as some of these sites might be highly suspicious. So, in order to do that, just open your MetaMask and just click on your MetaMask on the, on the three small dots area and click Connected Sites. And just disconnect the ones that you no longer use. It removes that active connection. So, what are the security risks of these sites, actually? Well, they allow other sites to read the balances and see what coins you have in your wallet. Okay, so there's no risk of actually losing that money, but they could possibly make you a target. And so also you want to keep your um, balances private, right? So it doesn't cost you anything to turn this connection off. So as a general rule of thumb, it would be a good idea and reduce unneeded risk. Okay, next. Okay, so one other thing that you might want to be a little careful of is unlimited spends. Okay, and you may have seen this uh, sometimes on Uniswap or sometimes um, on the BSC network. Okay, and uh, a little pop-up will come and it will ask you uh, to allow Uniswap or whatever to spend your your token. Okay, and and if you're like me, you'll probably just click yes many times. But if you click on the full transaction details, you'll see the default is to grant unlimited permission to spend that coin. Okay, so if you're using a trusted application like Uniswap or PancakeSwap or Aave, you probably have nothing to worry about. But what about if you're using a contract that you don't know uh, who these founders actually are, or the contract hasn't been audited? In those situations, a malicious actor can take advantage of your unlimited spend and rug your coins directly from your wallet. Okay, and an example of this happened last summer. Okay, and here's a little article. It talks about it, and the project was called Unicats, which allowed you to stick your Uniswap tokens in the yield farm. Unicats, Unicat tokens. What people didn't know is that the founder included a sneaky little function that allowed a smart contract to drain off all uni tokens from the wallets directly. So how can you prevent this from happening? You actually can set a custom uh, limit spend for smart contracts. Okay, and uh, so you can just type in the amount that you're willing to risk. Um, so you can click on the full transaction and check that. Okay, and it's a custom spend limit. You can set the maximum amount you're willing to spend. What happens if you've already uh, clicked on unlimited spend? Well, then you can actually revoke that. Um, you can just go to etherscan.io, token approval checker. And you can also do that on uh, Binance Smart Chain as well, BSC scan. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just briefly go over on how to do that. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward on Ethereum. Just go over to etherscan.io slash token approval checker. All right, I'll leave the description. I'll leave the link in the description. And then you just paste in your address. Okay, and you click search. Okay, and then from there you, you click connect to Web3. All right, and I can see in my in my account that there are a whole bunch of tokens that I've, I've uh, done this to, unlimited spend. But most of these are on Uniswap, and Uniswap's pretty trusted. Okay, so all you, all you do, if you wanted to revoke it, is on the right-hand side, you click on the kind of like a blue icon. Okay, you, connect the, you click on that, and then you disconnect it. It might cost you a little bit in ETH. So you might want to do this at a not-so-expensive time. So I always check ETH gas station check out the price because every time you do something like this it's going to cost you a little bit of ethan gas okay so the process for bsc is literally exactly the same okay so just go to bscscan.com 
slash token approval checker okay I'll leave the link in the description and then paste in your wallet address into the search bar okay then it is exactly the same process okay as I just described with etherscan and uh, yeah so also you won't have to worry so much about the prices it with uh, BSC scan because as we know BSC network is so much cheaper than ETH right now okay so there you go guys um, that was just a very quick tutorial on how to up your security on your MetaMask okay and so you might want to do this on a regular basis and just revoke access to some of the platforms that you don't trust so much alright then and I just want to say one thing please comment like and subscribe and one more thing um, I'm always thinking about adding new content and what have you to this channel so I'd really appreciate your feedback um, it, is there something that you're interested in and you would like me to cover I'll be happy to do so uh, thank you very much everyone and have a great day